Welcome back to my movie review series. Today, I'll be doing the review on the 2015 Studio Canal and Ardman movie. And this one is Shaun the Sheep movie. No wonder if Shaun the Sheep hits her own movie. Especially she Ardman has focused on Chicken Run and Wallace and Kermit. The movie is premiered on February 6, 2015 in the United Kingdom, January 24, 2015, and August 5th. 2015 in the United States and Canada. The movie is airing on BBC One, BBC Two, CBBC, Sky Cinema Animation, and streaming on Peacock, and Amazon Prime Video. Now, basically what is the plot of the movie? Sean, a mischievous sheep living with his flock at Mossy Bottom Farm, is bored with the routine of life on the farm. He concocts a plan to have a day off by tricking the farmer into going back to sleep by counting his sheep repeatedly. However, the caravan in which they put the farmer to bed accidentally rolls away, taking him into a city. Bitzer, the farmer's dog, chases after him. The farmer receives a blow to the head and is taken to a hospital, where he is diagnosed with amnesia. Upon leaving, he wanders into a hair salon and, acting on a vague recollection of shearing a sheep, cuts a celebrity's hair. The celebrity loves the result and the farmer gains popularity as a hair stylist called Mr. X. Meanwhile, the sheep find life impossible without the farmer, so Sean sneaks onto a bus to the city to his surprise. The rest of the flock follow him on another bus. They disguise themselves as people and begin looking for the farmer. But Sean is caught by Trumper, a mean animal control worker. Sean is reunited with Bitsa in the animal lockup, and with the help of a homeless dog named Slip, they manage to escape while imprisoning Trumper. They find the farmer, but he does not recognize them to their dismay. Now it's up to Sean and his flock to help the farmer regain his memory while evading Trumper. The story is very well written as while it may be very simple and not as elaborate as some of Ardman's other films like Chicken Run, Arthur Christmas or Curse of the Were-Rabbit. This movie shows that it doesn't have to be those things as it still manages to be an incredibly charming story that manages to be incredibly faithful to the Shaun the Sheep TV series. There is some very fun action, there's a great amount of heart and charm, there's some very solid humor, and much like the show, it does an incredible job at telling the story and being entertaining with no dialogue aside from some grunts and other noises from the characters. The movie manages to have a very solid sense of humor as there are quite a bit of pretty funny jokes and moments throughout the movie such as the gags and slapstick, the dark humor and occasional adult joke and the visual humor. Though this is also one of those animated films that has a running screaming goat joke, which is something I never really thought was that funny. The movie also has that classic Aardman heart and charm that leads to some very heartfelt and charming moments throughout the film like Sean's determination to make things better for his flock, and the flock's goal to give the farmer his memory back as they show that they do legit care for him. The movie also has some action scenes that can be pretty fun and do give the movie some good excitement and thrills like Bitsa chasing the runaway trailer, Sean, Bitsa, and Slip escaping from animal control, and Sean, Bitsa, and the flock defending their farm from Trumper. The animation is just as amazing as it was in Aardman's prior works and maintains that classic Hardman style with the characters all having some very solid designs that are accompanied by some very fluid and lively movements. The backgrounds and settings for the puppets are very well crafted and do have a great amount of detail, and there are some pretty solid special effects. The characters may be as simple as a story, but they're all pretty solid and likable thanks to them having some great chemistry and dynamics, wit and humor, charm and the charisma, and even a bit of growth and development such as the good-hearted Sean, the stern Bitzer, the amnesiac farmer aka Mr. X, the helpful Slip, the rest of Sean's flock consisting of Timmy, Shirley, the twins, Hazel, Nuts, and Timmy's mother, and the mean-hearted Trumper who is a pretty solid villain. The movie does technically have voice acting, but in place of straightforward dialogue like in pretty much every other animated film, instead the characters make all different types of sounds, and they mostly have just their lively animation to express themselves. But it's thankfully very well executed and is very similar to how the performances are in the TV show. It also reminds me of the early LEGO games where the characters would just make sounds and rely more on their movements to express express themselves. The music does sound very nice and is generally well composed as it does manage to capture the movie's light-hearted, 
comedic, and adventurous tone. So, I'm giving this movie, 8 out of 10. This might be among Aardman's best films they've made right alongside Chicken Run, Curse of the Were-Rabbit, and I to Christmas. If you're a big Shaun the Sheep fan, then this movie is an absolute must-watch.